What's going on everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. Today I want to talk about black or African positive propaganda and how we as black people around the world, we need to start creating our own positive propaganda. You understand? Propaganda doesn't always have to be a lie. It doesn't always have to be, you know, something that's embellished. The great thing about being African is that we don't have to embellish our history to make it fantastic. Our actual history and accomplishments are so fantastic, all we have to literally do is talk about it all the time. Highlight all the positiveness that comes with being African, all the accomplishments that black people do. We need to be throwing those affirmations in the air. You know, so you think, so you are, right? So if you think you ain't shit, you ain't shit. If you think you're a failure, you're a failure. If you think you can't do it, you can't do it. But if you think you can do it, then you can. And the only way to get proven wrong is to quit. But as long as you try, you didn't fail. You understand? If you believe that you're strong, you are. If you believe you can succeed, you are. If you believe and know that African people are great and awesome and we can accomplish anything, therefore it is. You understand? That's how it works. And those are the things that we need to be getting within our children's minds as they grow up. What's going on, my brother? Those are the things we need to get in our children's mind as we grow up, as they grow up. They need to wake up feeling a sense of pride for being black. You see, our, our kids grow up and they're inundated with, with layers and layers of white Western, white superiority uh, propaganda. You know, they glorify, whiteness is glorified everywhere. Our history class was nothing but a glorified whitewashing of, of of European expansionism across the world, right? And they glorified it and they sanitized it, right? We need to start telling the truth and glorifying our history. We need to glorify our explorers who explored the world. We need to glorify, glorify our sailors who sailed the seas. We need to glorify our great architects who built the greatest structures mankind has ever seen. Despite the fact that, that, that you know, the Europeans have destroyed and stolen it all. The mere fact that after they destroyed everything that we've built, took away our knowledge, took away our sense of self, yet for some reason, by default, the African diaspora has rebuilt Europe twice and built America and built all the, all the infrastructure and built, built, built all the wealth of these white people and these Western nations who tout how great they are because of the things that they stole. But we build, they still we build. And we need to be proud about that. We should be proud about our warrior prowess. prowess. We should be proud about our warrior history. We should be proud about those things. Look at the Japanese, look how proud the Japanese are. They had a whole, they had two nukes dropped on their country. The small little country, two nukes dropped by the white people for no real reason. They just wanted to see if the shit work, right? Two nuclear warheads dropped on them. They were forced to give up, to submit to the white man in an embarrassing fashion when it comes to the way the Japanese culture is. Yet they still maintain and hold on to their pride. They're, they hold on to their, their pride of their culture, the samurai warrior. They still have that, right? You can't take it from them. Even in defeat, you can't take it from them. And sometimes you gotta learn how to die on your shield. There is, there is honor in dying on your shield. There's honor being pr a proud black man. Even if you got the whole world coming down on you, even if you got the whole world talking trash about you, making fun of you, uh, hyping up stereotypes, right? Even if you got the whole world against you, you already know in the age of information, the reason why they're against you is because they can't be you. They're jealous of you. They want what you have. I mean, how clear, how much, how clear does the communication need to be? that we are the envy of the world. And what happens when you envy something, right? What happens when you envy something and you can't be that thing that you envy? You either appreciate it and celebrate it, or if you get out, or, or if it gets toxic, you start to hate on it. Find ways to tear it down because you can't measure up, or you feel like you can't measure up. We have a bunch of other people on the planet that feel like they can't measure up to us. So they make it their business to belittle us because it makes them feel good. Right. And they don't mind those POCs that want to be close to the whiteness, those white people who's afraid and jealous of all the accomplishments of Africans and had to make up a whole fantasy about how great they are. Right. Those people don't mind putting out uh, propaganda to make sure that we don't know who we are. Can you imagine what would happen if 
the global majority all of a sudden had a high level of racial pride, being proud to be African, being proud to be the most communal group of people on the planet, being proud of all our talents and our accomplishments, being proud of our homeland, being proud of the things that, that our homeland is capable of doing, the things that we have done. Imagine the inspiration that would give to a child to say, well, we can do all of this and we've done all of that. What else can we do? What else can we do? Given the chance, given the opportunity on an even playing field, what can we accomplish as Africans, right? So we have to put that in the minds of our youth. We have to put that in the ether of the black community that while everybody's talking shit about us, we know why. We don't have to keep asking the question why. We don't have to keep asking why, why, why certain, we have the answer to a lot of those questions. What we need to do is start answering our own questions. Who are we? What does it mean to be black? What does it mean to be African? What does black power mean? What does black power look like? How is black power manifested? What is black excellence? How do we get more of that black excellence? How do we, com how do we compound black excellence for the future? How do we give our great grandchildren a better future? How do we make it so they can freely pursue their dreams, their hopes and dreams without being uh, deterred by others who are jealous of what they could possibly do, their potential? How many more black geniuses do we need to see on a daily basis? It's, we're so used to seeing little black geniuses, we don't, it doesn't even make news to us anymore because we know that we're geniuses. We know given the opportunity, our, our children, are, are no matter where they are in the world, will excel well beyond basic human expectations, right? We need to be planting those seeds. We need to be watering those plants instead of the crap that we get sidetracked on instead of the degenerateness that we get sidetracked on and that we attach to us things that don't even belong to us. We attach things and we're proud of things that don't belong to us. That's not a part of our culture. Just because we make everything look cool don't mean it's cool for us to be to have it. Just because we make everything look cool doesn't mean it's cool. It just means that we make it look cool because we just so happen to be the most influential group of people on the planet amongst a lot of things that we are the most of, all right? So all I'm saying is, guys, we gotta start developing the culture of racial pride, huh? Group pride, stick your chest out, you know? Put your, put your chin up and talk about the things that we do good. Tell our children that they're not just stupid, dumb, degenerate, they're not on food stamps. Stop talking about food stamps and, and, and Taknisha and Taquisha. Every group has a Taknisha, a Taknisha, and a Terrence, and a Peebo. Stop talking about that. Why are, you, why are you reaffirming negative stereotypes? Everybody else already doing. We don't need, no, we don't need to be helping them do, do, do that to us. What we need to be doing is giving, them, giving that force an opposing force. Give that negative force an opposing force. A black excellent force. Black force power. That's what we need to do. We need to be pushing that. And we need to be blocking out the negative. So when you got people that come on the internet every day to tell you you ain't shit, stop watching them, man. It's a waste of time. If somebody can take the effort to come and tell you you ain't shit every day just because they ain't shit, just because they family ain't shit, and they want to project on onto you, you don't have to accept that information that you're ahead. You don't have to accept that as being reality for black people. Because there are tons of people who got fucked up family lives. Tons of people who got shitty ass, ghetto ass parents, moms, grandmas, and, and, every, and everything else. That doesn't... That doesn't reflect the, the entire community, right? And you gotta be a, a lot smarter, right? You gotta be a lot more worldly. You know, you gotta be, be a, a lot more um, compassionate to understand that there's context to everything, right? That every family situation is different and that there's a macro view and there's a, there's a minor view. You have what's going on in your house, what's going on in, 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 your, in your neighborhood. You got what's going on in your village with your town your state, right? Your country and your planet and this is what's going on in the galaxy, all right? There's levels to this, right? And you got to understand how all that plays with each other, right? But if you if you want to make a change, be more positive towards your black brother and sister. Remind them how great they are. Now, everybody wasn't the king and queen, but guess what? King and queen wasn't the only thing that we were. We were architects, teachers, scientists, mathematicians, doctors, scholars. Okay, we were a lot of things that we could be proud about in the, in, in the, that, that we did, that we accomplished, that we're still accomplishing. And don't let nobody tell you that African-Americans right now are not making great strides 
in this country. That we're not making great strides in other places. Don't let them tell you that. Just because they can go go down to the ghetto, right, in a corner store and see a couple Pookie and Ray Ray sitting by the liquor store. Just because you can see a bunch of them doesn't mean you can't go see Terrence in, in Wall Street. Doesn't mean Pookie's brother didn't make it. He ain't a senator right now. All right. Look how many black women we have in power right now. Look how many black men we have in power in various positions throughout the most powerful country in the world. They're going down in history. Just like those great gen black African generals that uh, participated in, in India and in in some of the greatest dynasties in India and in, in, in the Persian Gulf and in, 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 the, in the Middle East and in, in Europe and in, in Asia, all those, the, 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 black, the, the black samurai, just like those legendary figures who went to other places for one reason or another and excelled within their communities, we have African Africans right now in America excelling in the greatest and most powerful country to ever exist on this planet, making critical decisions on the world stage with their own mind, their own black African mind, despite what propaganda like to say, because a lot of a lot of us do community, what a lot of us do in our black community is as soon as a black person succeeds, become a politician or a leader, we instantly put them in the coon category or we instantly put them in the sellout category because we don't know the detailed intricacies of what it takes to be an actual leader. We don't know the tough choices that it take. And the fact is, you're not, as a leader, you have to deal with other leaders that have their own interests and you have to play the game. There is a game to be played and you have to play it and that's reality, right? But don't get it mistaken. African Americans are integral parts of the United States uh, government and we make critical decisions. Military, like the top guy who runs the military is a black guy. Like look, who, look who's prosecuting Donald Trump left and right. Black men and black women prosecuting a, a white, a white, pre a, in America, there's a white president, a, a former white president that's about to be held accountable by a whole bunch of black politicians, a whole bunch of black lawyers. A whole bunch of like, come on, when did y'all ever think that was going to happen, right? Held accountable? Well, we'll see about that. But anyway, we got to start having and taking taking our piece of the pie and being more positive and being more constructive in the things that we say. Because like I said, if you believe it, that's what it is. If you ain't shit, then you ain't shit. You believe you ain't shit, then you ain't shit. If you believe you are the shit, then you are the shit. You get it? That's all I got to say. This is Afro Think Tank. Learn something, teach something. I'm out.